A Japanese team working to develop a space elevator will conduct a first trial this month, blasting off a miniature version on satellites to test the technology. The test equipment, produced by researchers at Shizuoka University, will hitch a ride on an H-2B rocket being launched by Japan's space agency from southern island of Tanegashima next week. The test involves a miniature elevator stand-in, a box just 6 cm long, 3 cm wide, and 3 cm high. If all goes well, it will provide proof of concept by moving along a 10-meter cable suspended in space between two mini-satellites that will keep it taut. The mini elevator will travel along the cable from a container in one of the satellites. It's going to be the world's first experiment to test elevator movement in space, a university spokesman told AFP on Tuesday. The movement of the motorized elevator box will be monitored with cameras in the satellites. It is still a far cry from the ultimate beam-me-up goals of the project, which builds on a long history of space elevator dreams. The idea was first proposed in 1895 by Russian scientist Konstantin Tchaikovsky after he saw the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and was revisited nearly a century later in a novel by Arthur C. Clarke. But technical barriers have always kept plans stuck at the conceptual stage. Japanese construction firm Abayashi, which is collaborating with the Shizuoka University project, is also exploring other ways to build its own space elevator to put tourists in space in 2050. The company has said it could use carbon nanotube technology, which is more than 20 times stronger than steel, to build a lift shaft 96,000 kilometers, roughly 60,000 miles, above the Earth. The firm hopes it will transport people and shipment to a new space station. It will also work as a port to transport astronauts to Mars and beyond. The firm first revealed the plans in 2014, claiming construction will be technically feasible. It calculated it would take roughly 20 years to construct the cable, which would have one end fixed to the Earth's surface, always applying pre-tension at the ground end. According to the plan, a 20-ton cable is deployed initially, and is reinforced 510 times by climbers up to 7,000 tons, ascending in succession over roughly 18 years. The facilities are then transported and constructed within one year. The firm has also previously floated the idea of a space hotel at the top of the elevator. The company said it would carry up to 30 passengers at a time and travel at a speed of 200 km per hour for a week, stopping off at a station at 36,000 km. Tourists would stay there, but researchers and specialists would be able to travel all the way to the end, said Satomi Katsuyama, the project's leader. Humans have long adored high towers, she said. Rather than building it from the Earth, we will construct it from the space. 